she does is ask about my boys. Um, and she always, as I said, they have a special place in our heart. And, you know, I, I, I know that. Um, we've been through a lot. She's been with, with me through a lot of personal things. Um, you know, both of us lost our moms at the same time. Um, and we, we supported each other through that. Um, but one thing that I want to share with you guys to really, you know, give you an idea of Brenda. Right after Hurricane Katrina, Brenda and two other training managers came to New Orleans and they wanted a tour of the city. So I took them around the city, but at the end of the evening, we also stopped at my home so that they could see how we rebuilt my house. And so the two managers and I, my husband and my mom, we were all in the living room talking and Brenda kind of disappeared. Well, she ended up in the kitchen. My middle son was doing a project, an English project, and Brenda sat down at the table and started to help him with that. <laughs> and that was a testament to, to Brenda. And, you know, she's all about family. And, you know, she, she, she has also been a very good friend. Some of those times when I want to go off the rail, I'll call Brenda and say, okay. <laughs> Is this what I should be doing? And she messages me a lot. Um, so I am definitely going to miss you, but I have your phone number and I have your address. And I will still continue to call you. I love you. I love you too. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Hey, Brenda, congratulations hey, on your retirement. Um, I, I think the first time you and I met was in the Chi Chi's in Indianapolis, Chee -chee. right after the first Chicago Bank One merger. And like uh, Michelle's story, uh, my kids were there. And I remember, Brenda, you coming to the end of the table. We had this huge lot of table for conversion going on. You came to the end of the table and sat down with my daughter with crayons for most of that meal. Yeah. That left such an impression on her. Um, she is now in her senior year in college, yeah. uh, majored in biomedical engineering, and the strength that you showed her that night as a role model is a great portion of what she is today. So what you've done for many other people, their kids, <coughs> their families, is just incredible. I'm going to stop there because I already said a lot to you on Facebook, and I know I don't need your phone number because we've got that connection. So yeah. congratulations, sure. and we'll stay there. Thank you, Dan. Well, I was in the bank. I reported to him, and Karma had it. There was some changing around, and we went to conversion, and he reported to me. It just goes to show, be careful you step on <laughs> And he did a great job. Yeah, yeah. It was, no, it was great. We had a good time. Brenda? Yes. I can't see you. Can you hear me? This is Sue Lark. Oh, Sue! Hi! Oh. Hey, thank you for the card. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there, but, um, and I'm so sorry not on telepresence, but I thought I'd dial in. And I just want to, you know, really, really reiterate everything everyone is saying on the phone. I, you know, so admire your integrity, and, and please know that you have truly made a difference in everyone's life that, that you touch. You've been um, a coach, a friend, a manager, a mentor, a supporter, a cheerleader. Um, you know, you were an integral part of getting me into the, the role I'm doing now at the bank. And, you know, I'm truly going to miss you, and I hope you stay in touch. I love you. Love you too, Sue. Thank you. I was just going to let everyone on the phone know, please go ahead, we'll open the phone line as well as telepresence, so if there's anyone we didn't get to on telepresence, please chime in, but those of you on the phone, please speak up as well. The line is open. Hey Brenda, it's Janet Boyle, how are you? Hey Janet, I'm great, thank you. Well, I'm a little leaky, but I'm good. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to wish you the very best of luck. I, I like others, am going to miss you tremendously. You have left an impact and a footprint on my life. And, you know, as I was a manager at one point, you were an integral part of helping me be a better manager. And I just want to thank you for that. And I also want to thank you for your leadership. And as we sat around tables many times, stack ranking employees, having it be one of the toughest experiences ever. I just wanted to say thank you for keeping us all level-headed and, and just, again, managing and leading with your heart and just being a, a tremendous friend as well. Best of luck to you. 
Thank you, Janet. Yeah, those were not always good days. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Brenda. It's Pat Stone. How are oh, you? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Patricia, how are you? <laughs> I am doing phenomenal. I just want to say best of luck. Thank you so much for the 20 plus years that I got to spend with you. The laughter, the tears, the hugs, uh, the pushes that you gave all of us. You have just been an amazing, amazing, and will always be an amazing lady in our lives. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. You know I love you. Are you crying? Um, you know what? I'm trying not to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Josh, how are you? Good. How are you? I am terrific. Well, I, I want to say I'm not the best with words with stuff like this, but you've been with me since I came into CCB Learning seven years ago. You, you brought me into this world, and if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. And you, you've definitely been a mentor. You've been, um, you know, a, a tremendous leader and, and a friend. And you hear, you've heard it time and time again that you're going to be missed. I mean, I don't think words can stress how, how much you're going to be missed, but I think we're all um, excited for you in, in your next chapter, and I wish I were there to give you a hug. I asked Vicki to give you one, so I hope she did. Um, no, but she is not. You, <laughs> not, to put, not to put Vicki on the spot, but um, you'll definitely continue to be in my heart. And by the way, Janet and I took a video. We're gonna. I'm gonna try to text it to you. So. Oh great. Um, Stay tuned. Take care. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. And guess what? Jeremy Young is in the room. When he oh, was in Jerry, with, Jeremy. Yeah, when he was in Wisconsin, <laughs> he recommended that I should hire you. So he is brilliant as well. <laughs> well, then, then Vicki, give him a hug for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. Great okay, work, Josh. Good to see you. Go back. <laughs> Josh, please get back to work. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. It's Phil Early, and hey. I wanted to wish you a very happy retirement and, and echo all the fine, wonderful comments that everyone in the room and on the phone and fellow presence has mentioned. And also thank you for what you've given me, which is your time. That's a commodity we don't seem to have enough out here at Chase in our personal lives. And you always make sure whenever you're over here in Indy to ask about my son, and we talk a lot about football, and you always cared about him, as you do everyone, and, and myself included. And I will miss those football conversations about Ohio State and Air Force football, of course. <laughs> and also let you know that I got two tickets next Friday to the NFL Combine here, in case you have some time off on that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Phil and I are exiting on the same day, the 28th. So, you know what? Be careful what you say. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. God bless and good luck. Thank yeah, you. same to you, Phil. Thank you. Hi, Hi Linda. This is Sharon Herman. Hey, Sharon Herman. Hi, how are you? Terrific. Well, I can't thank you enough for the role you played in my career and my development. You have been an inspiration, my motivation, and at times, my rock, professionally and personally. Uh, you pushed me to continue to reach my potential and reminded me of what I'm capable of when I lost sight of it. You led with your heart and always reminded me that family comes first. And oftentimes, our one-on-one -on -one began with you checking on my family, whom you knew on a first-name basis, and that means a great deal. I'm going to miss you dearly and wish you the best during your retirement. Spoil those grand babies uh, rotten. There's the Filipino accent coming out. <laughs> I love you, and I will miss you. Thank you for being a, a great part of my life. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Take care, babe. You too. Hi Brenda, this is uh, this is Joel Daniels. Oh, well, uh, Joel! Hey. Yeah, I you know I really wanted to be there. I had a virtual class this morning that just got over a few minutes ago, so I'm holding down the fort in your favorite training site, Middletown, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, love those virtual right. classes. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I just wanted to thank you for being an awesome partner to me, you know, especially when I was in the, the Midwest sales training manager role. You really went out of your way to help me secure rooms. You, you partnered with me to discuss ways to make our teams more effective. You were one chase before it was officially one chase. And I, I really appreciate that. 
The other thing that I thought was great is you were so sincere and genuine whenever we were having conversations. And what it did, it made me feel like whenever we talked, I was the only thing or the only one on your mind. And that is so difficult to give that impression to somebody else. And I wanted to let you know that I really, really appreciated that. I also love that you freely spoke about your faith, which inspired me each time that you did that. So thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, I know you're going to enjoy your retirement. It's well earned. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Yeah, he was the ultimate professional. I'd come in and go, can you believe this is happening? And he'd be like, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joel taught me a lot, too. So, thank you, Joel. <laughs> hey, Brett. That's Diane Maloney here. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I, I echo everything that everybody has said on the phone today. And I just wanted to remind you of a fun event that we went to. I'll never, we were in Chicago and just on the spur of the moment, we decided to walk over and see that day if there were any cancellations for the play um, Hamilton. And yeah, believe it or not, we got third show okay. center wow. and the tickets were super cheap and we ended up going to one of the greatest productions I've ever seen. But here's the point that I think I had more fun watching Brenda, who discovered that her old high school boyfriend was in, he was a conductor in the orchestra pit. And we kept nothing here to go up and say hello, say hello. And he was, you know, being very shy about it. And so I just walked up and said, oh, hello, can you remember Brenda? <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and he popped up, and I, I married very well. <laughs> Glad I came. <laughs> much because when I came over from Bank of New York, you were just so nice and kind and supportive and through all the years you were really wonderful and you're just a great person and I thank you for being you and I wish you all the best. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jean. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so Brenda, oh, Terry, you're jealous. And I just want to thank you for all your support, your leadership, your wisdom, and I just hope that you have the best retirement, enjoy your family, and have a lot of fun. Congratulations. Thanks. I love Cherry. She's the manager. Great person. And then she's in Chicago, from Detroit to Chicago. Thanks, Terry. Love you, girl. Love you. Bye. Hi, hey, Brenda. Detroit, uh, this is Erica Dickerson. Hey, Erica. Erica. Hi, I just wanted to say I echo as well everything everyone has said, but you have just all have always been a pillar of professionalism. You had a great impact on me. I remember when I went through development skills, it was you and Andrea Puppy, and I remember being in awe saying, I want to be like her. I want to be training like Brenda because she's just such a professional, and I just want you to know that I miss our talk, um, just like I think Karen said, you always ask about family first, and you are appreciated and loved, and you will be sincerely missed. Oh, thank you, Erica. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. This is Ronnie. Ronnie Warda. I see your name. Mogul. How are you? I'm terrific. Okay. So, uh, I'm honestly, I'm I am completely <laughs> very upset about you leaving because you've made such an impact on my life in such a huge way. You know, like everybody's been saying, from a professional standpoint and from a, a personal standpoint, you've been through my highs and lows. And you know I'm a person of words and, and poems and things, things like that. So I just wrote something very quick for you and I want you to hear it. Um, because, because you are a, uh, a servant of God, you always love in your heart, so I'm going to make it quick, but 
It says you started on this journey so many years ago, and now it's time to take behind your friends that you've come to know. You saw divine direction in our heart to do His will. Your work is in your passion as you use your gifts and your skills. You set the highest standards for yourself and others too, showing honor, fighting dignity, they saw the best in you. They rag the 